What's up my YT homies? It's your girl Alifia coming back with another video. And in this video, I want to share with you my everyday basic, basic, basic baddie. <laughs> Basic baddie, everyday look for women. I say women over 40. Anybody. Women over 30. Anybody. Anybody can wear this easy breezy look, beginner look. And I go step by step telling you everything that I do. Everything that you can do to get a flawless beat like this one. Because don't act like it's not flawless. <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing how I created this everyday flawless beat, then please. Continue to watch. Okay, you guys, so we are starting this with a clean, freshly washed face. So the first thing I do is I like to tone my skin and I use witch hazel as my toner. And I just take one of these cotton rounds. This one is like the exfoliating side, has the exfoliating side and the smooth side. So I just take it and I go over my face everywhere and this is just helping to get the pH balanced in your face after you have cleansed your face with the cleanser I need to do my eyebrows I need to wax my eyebrows while they are microbladed I still have to wax them also they are like it's time for this should have had the second session but you guys know what happened with that so if you don't know what happened with that I will leave the video in the cards for you to go check that out but I do need a second session when it comes to your makeup in order to have a flawless makeup look in order for your makeup to be mm, uh, chef's kisses you need to do the proper skincare so like I said after I've washed my face and tone then I go in with this pour serum from Sephora you guys have seen me use this before I go in with this now sometimes I'll go in with a moisturizer, but most of the time my moisturizer, I put it on at night. The reason why I don't put moisturizer on every morning is because sometimes, well, first of all, I have oily skin and then depending on the temperature, your moisturizer, for me, for me, I can't speak for anybody else, the moisturizer kind of makes my face, my oils pop out more. It's kind of like where people don't like to put on lotion because they feel like lotion makes them sweat. Kind of same thing. After I do that, I like to go in my primer and my primer for today is the Huda beauty water jelly primer I had to say that like that because I kept getting tongue-tied with it put some of this on my face I like to go ahead and prime my face way before it's time for me to do my foundation that way I know the primer has set in and it's going to do what I need it to do so then I go in now because I have these partially microbladed brows I'll go in and I'll carve out the bottom of my brow now I will go in and do some brow work later but not right now but before I got my brows done, I was a do my brows before my foundation type of girl. And I'm still kind of that way. Sort of, kind of. But because when I powder my face, I do have to go back in and do some tweaks. Or because I do need another session to get it right. Because if you guys look, you'll notice this brow is much better than this brow. So anyway, so I have to go in with this. And I need to wax my brows so you can see some hairs more than what you normally would. And this is just the NC42 Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. Alright, now that that is done, I do go ahead and I take my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And this one is in the color 3.5. And right here, under, like here, I need to go a little bit. But as you can see over here, there really is no definitive line. And that is something that I like. Some people may not, but I like it. So I'm going to give myself a definitive line. Just to fix that up a little bit. And I will come back, like I said, after I do my powder to do a little bit more taming. But right now, that is it. So my palette of choice today is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. I have the light and the dark. And I think I may end up using a combination of both. Because the dark, it, it, it is really, really, really rich. And the colors can look, on my complexion, can look too dark if I don't use a light hand, shall I say. Alright, and so to prime my eyes, I am just going to use my MAC Paint Pot in Laying Low. And then I just want to 
blend blend this in. Now the thing about the Natasha Denona palette, these Glam Face palettes, is they tell you they have on here where to put each color. So if you have this palette and you are a beginner, it is great because of that. But for my transition, I'm going to use the transition color. And I'm just going to take a light hand, like I said, because this transition color is a little bit too dark. A little bit dark for me. So if it gets too dark, I may mix it. But I'm taking a light hand, very light hand, because of... The darkness of it and I'm just going to go in here and put this in my transition area my crease area so to speak this just helps with the other colors blending and you putting them on and like I said I'm using a very light hand very very light hand and it's still a little bit dark so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this so I'm going to mix this with the light palette and as you can see, the transition in the light palette is much lighter. So what I'm going to do is take and wipe that color off. And I'm just going to take this transition from this palette and go over the other transition just to tone this down some. to do next is I like to set my brow bone and I always use my powder to set my brow bone color this also blends in that transition color with the brow bone to make this seamless right here every now and again I put a shimmer on my brow bone but for the most part I just like to put the matte color right here on my brow bone that is it so now what I want to do is add my crease color. So I have a crease and I have a smoke. And I think I'm going to mix the crease and the smoke together. That's what I'm going to do because I don't really want this to be like a smoky eye because that's what I can do. I just want a little bit of definition over here. Now I'm just keeping this color over here in the corner. I'm not taking it all the way in. I'll take it up just a little bit here. And that's about it. I don't want it to go all the way in my crease. I just want that smokiness or that darkness to be right here in the corner. That is it, if you can see. Just right over here. And like I said, I'm, mix I'm mixing the crease color and the smoke color to do this. And that is all. I just want it over here. And then I want to take the other brush that I used for my crease color originally and I'm gonna go back go back over here now what I want to do is take the crease color from the light palette right here I don't want to take the transition color I just want to take the crease color and make sure all this is blended together right here just go here just to blend this out and then we're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other eye okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do with this palette, you can do an inner corner and an outer corner, so to speak. So like at the inner corner here and the outer corner here, and then this one, the same thing, the inner corner and then the outer corner. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the inner corner from the dark palette. I'm just going to take the inner corner from the dark palette because the outer corner is, a, I don't, I don't really want, it has more of like a burgundy is reddish hue so I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to put it on my lid all over my lid the inner corner color and that's all I want to do there all right and what I want to do next is Take the same brush that I did the crease with and I'm not putting any product on it no product and I'm just gonna go and take it back and forth right here just to make this seamless and that is it pretty much for the eyes now it's it for the eyes for me because I don't line my eyes and put color under my eyes on an everyday basis if that's what you do then that's what you do so next we're going to move on to finish up the face so you guys know we've already primed and so the next thing we want to do is color correct we want to color correct and put in put on our other primer so for color correction i have this lift tinted color this one is a little bit dark so i want to use a light hand for this one and i kind of want to put a little bit here 
and a little bit here and then you guys know if you've been on my channel I got this from Savannah Silver where you take the paint pot and you put it on your pores and in your little lab lines or what have you and so then I'm gonna take my max fix plus this one is a fix plus plus fix plus with coconut I'm gonna take this I'm just gonna spray my face and I do that to help blend this in and so I'm just gonna blend this in my skin And I do that because this product dries down quickly. The paint pot dries down quickly. So I have to do this in order to make sure it blends. I see what I mean by this being a little bit dark, but I'm gonna use it because I bought it because I really, really prefer the peach one, but it's gonna be all right. Cause once I put my concealer on it's gonna take away that orangeness next I want to use I want to do my foundation and my foundation of choice lately has been a combination of these two and I have gotten a lot a lot of compliments on these two and it's the makeup forever HD skin foundation and 3y56 and then the NARS natural radiant foundation in the color Syracuse and I just take one pump of this this pump is a nice size pump but this one the pumps are really little so here's one pump of this one there's one pump you can barely see it so I have to do like four pumps of this four or five pumps and I just take the two and I mix them to get my color because the Syracuse is just a little bit too light and the what do you call it makeup forever is too dark the undertone with the Syracuse is perfect but the undertone with the Makeup Forever is a little bit too reddish. So now I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. I'm going to, with my concealers of choice and here are the concealers that I'm using right now well concealer and cream bronzer it's a concealer but I'm using it for a cream bronzer and I'm about to drop it but it's the Sephora best skin ever in 56.5 P yesterday my wife says you got a little bit more red on than you normally have because I was a little heavy-handed with this but we just want to be light-handed with it a little bit here a little bit here and then I want to go around my chin and that is it for this I use something else to contour my nose all right and so then for my concealer I'm gonna use this M17 this is the Pat McGrath skin fetish I'm just gonna put it up under my eyes I don't do the one two spot like they do nowadays one here one here I don't do all that because I have darkness under my eyes. I have lines under my eyes. I am a woman of a certain age. And you guys know that. So, and this video is, anybody can follow what I'm doing in this video, but, you know, women over 40. And then I want to take and put just a little bit of this here. Not too much. I used to kind of go out, but I don't want to put that much because if I put too much, then it's too highlighted up there. I don't like that too highlighted look. Also, I don't, and you guys can do this if you want. You know how they go around and take the concealer all the way down here. I don't do all that either. I leave that for the young people, but that's not my, my thing. So I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to take a, a brush, any type of brush. And this is just a, a, what this is, a foundation brush, a Sephora foundation brush, angled foundation brush. And just go and blend this in all the way up. Uh-oh, y'all. Hold on. I forgot a step moving too fast i also use cream blush and i'm using the cool berry and this is from fenty i just take my finger and i'll blend it put it with my contour right above my contour and i know the thing now is to bring your blush like all the way around and some people even put it on their nose baby i'm too old for that i'm, I'm too old for that i love makeup but there are just some things that 
I have to stay in my lane with and for me all that blush up in here and on my nose and all that that's just not my thing if it's your thing then that's fine but it's not mine so I'm just gonna blend this out on my forehead and I'm gonna blend this out right here just go on around and blend it see how that's looking now let me say this and I know and I did not put on sunscreen and I know the girls are all the buzz on YouTube about sunscreen but I'm just gonna be honest I don't put on sunscreen every day I do not winter spring summer fall I don't put on sunscreen every day I'm just being honest I put it on most more in the summer I really do I did not know we need to put sunscreen on all the time I just don't and I'm being realistic and I'm not about to sit up here and tell y'all I put on sunscreen every day because that'll be a lie I'm not about to do all that So now that that's done, I'm going to take another brush, and this brush is just like that one, but it's a different brush, and I'm going to blend this in. So I'm going to start here and blend this on my forehead, and you see how this is just staying right here? Now, if I were to take and do that whole thing like I used to do, it would be, I would be having to go all over there, and I'm just going to go down the bridge of my nose. Just blend, blend, blend that in, and then now let's go up under the eyes and blend this out. to put two colors two concealers up under here or two concealer colors because I do like to conceal and highlight I don't want highlights where it's overbearing but I do want to highlight so you kind of see see how that is that highlight well this is I haven't blended this in but I'm just saying do you see do you see how it's highlighting and concealing that is what I like to do and I'm gonna tell you just like this for women that are over 40 let's not let's let's not fool ourselves you can do, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do with your makeup, but going three and four shades lighter with the concealer is just, it's, 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 it's un unnecessary. I, I, at least I think it is. And I think that if we are a, cer a certain age, of a certain age, and, and I'm using age because, like I said, there are just some things that as a 40 year old or over 40 year old, we don't need to be doing with our makeup. Makeup is subjective. I know that. I get that. But y'all seen people that be face be looking a mess because they be trying to do stuff that they don't need to be doing. But anyway, so once I blend that out, I go with my con nose contour and I use the truffle from Fenty. This has been my go-to for years, ever since it came out, pretty much. And I like to use this versus a liquid because I have more control over it because it's a cream. And I like the way it looks. I just like the way it looks. And then what I want to do is go back. Just go over this a little bit. Let me do this. And then I do one of two things. Once I do this, you know, I got to blend this. I got to blend this out. So I either use my foundation brush or I use the brush I get my bronzer with and I'll just go around the edges and blend all this in to make it mesh to marry it all together. And then one last time, I want to go back over my eyes. I prefer to use a brush. I, every, I do go back and forth. Sometimes I'll use a a sponge but pretty much I'm back to using the brushes so I'm going to take this powder and this is the Pat McGrath setting powder I'm just going to put some of this under my eyes now this powder I love the finish of it but I have the medium so it sets and oxidizes so I'll put this on and then I'll go in with another color now what I don't do and what I suggest you not do if you're over 40 okay now so like I was saying before I was so really interrupted by my battery is I go in with my Sephora powder and then I go over the Pat McGrath powder just to lighten it up a little bit. And really and truly, I don't have to use both of those powders, but I bought that Pat McGrath powder, so I'm gonna use that Pat McGrath powder. And then I'll go in with my other one. Whew. I also ran downstairs to put my cardigan in the dryer to go with my dress. Okay, anyway, so then next I'm going to take my face powder. I'm just going to powder my whole face. Now, I'm just going to go and sweep up under here just in case I left any residual. Because let me tell y'all what we're not doing around here. If we're over 40, we're not baking anything. We are not baking our face. Baby, I don't even bake my chicken anymore. I air fry it. <laughs> so, anyway. But you can bake if you want to bake. 
But baby, there's no baking over here. Cause when I when I used to try to bake, I that, that stuff would be white all up under there. Just white. Just just frosted white. <laughs> Man, it's just too much. It's just too much. So we don't bake. For our contour, our powder contour, we're gonna use the Coco Naughty by Fenty right here. And I'm just gonna take this brush. And this is a unit 102 brush. And I'm just gonna go here in the contours of my cheeks and the crevices, crevices, contour, whatever you want to say. And I'm just going to blend this out and then take it up all around my forehead. Anywhere I put that cream contour is where I'm going to go back with the powder. You don't have to do pow cream and powder. If you just do powder, just do powder. If you just do cream, just do cream. But I do both. And then I want to put my blush on. Now, I know some people don't like blush. If you don't like blush, skip this step. And this actually is supposed to be a highlighter. And it's the Phoenix Highlight from Melt Cosmetics. Got this uh, in the mystery box. And I really do like it. But for me, it is not. I don't use it as a, a highlight. I use it as a bronze. I mean, a blush. And so this is a Unit 111 brush. I'm just going to put it here on my cheeks. That looks more like a blush than a highlight. Now, maybe it's a highlight, can be a highlight for someone that's darker than me. But for me, this is a blush. This is a blush. And then, you know, these Natasha Denona palettes have the highlighter in there. So, I'm going to take this highlighter that's in the palette. And I'm just going to hit these points on my face that I've highlighted with the concealer, so to speak, up here. And let's get over here. And then I'm going to take my face brush and just kind of tap over it a little bit just to tone it down because I don't want to be glistening. All right, so now you guys see my brows. They look a little dull. So now I'm going to take, brush my hairs up. I'm going to go in and fix them. Bring back my sharpness here and put a little color here. This one needs more work. This one is my one. Is this one right here, the microblading looks better than on the left one. And then up here, I need to go up a little bit higher because the other one is just a little higher than this one. Now, while I do not put eyeliner on my bottom lid, I'm always going to put eyeliner on my top. So I'm going to line my top. Sometimes I'll start all the way in the inner and sometimes I just go out in the middle and then out. And so today I'm just going to go in the middle and then add a little bit. And just make sure that that is right there like that. That's just all I want. And I'm put just a little bitty wing. Nothing big. And that is it. And you see, see the difference in the two? And so now before I do my mascara, I'm gonna set my face. And you guys, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know this is the babe right here. This Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I'm gonna take my trusty dusty fan that's already on because it's a little bit warm so now that that is out of the way I want to go ahead and do my mascara so I'm gonna use a combination for my mascara I have three mascaras and a primer here now if you guys put on lashes you can that's fine I don't put on lashes on a daily basis so I just go ahead and I'll prime my lashes with the lash primer prep them for the mascara. So for my first mascara, I want to use the Major Pleasure by Nabla Cosmetics. And I only put it on my top lashes. Only time I put mascara, look at there. Only time I put mascara on my bottom lashes is if I'm doing a look and I've lined my bottom. But other than that, just for the look to be airy and light, I just do the top. I just do the top. All right, so now you don't have to use two and three mascaras like I do, but that's just what your girl does. So then I'm gonna use the Perversion from Urban Decay. And then the last one is Lash Freak Mascara. This is by Urban Decay as well. Let's go ahead and do our lips. So I'm gonna use this pencil right here from Destiny Golly, just to line my lips. I'm gonna 
used this lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. Can't tell you what color it is. All I know it is pink because the it's gone. And that, my dear, is the finished look. learn something from this video if this is your first time here make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you an oldie but goodie and you're coming back for another one you know your girl appreciates it as i always ask please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video across all your social media sites if there's anything that you would like to see on my channel please do let me know and your girl will get that out for you and so on to the next time and in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and i will do what catch you on the flip side. Bye. Out. We out.